right, so we are now on to BP11. So we're going to copy this and change our task description. So we want a flashlight to turn on depending on the darkness in the room. So we're going to have some if-else statements to then control or use the value of a light sensor to control a flashlight. So we want to do if light sensor is less than, this is where we have to do some testing. So if we look at our light sensor uh, when it's when it's light out, that's a value of about 150. Light sensor dark is around 850 for mine. So you want to do some testing on that. I'm going to break this up into some levels. I'm going to say when the light sensor is, you know, less than, let's say, 400. Uh, flashlight is off. If it's less than 500, flashlight is at 25. If it's less than 600, flashlight is 50. If it's less than 700, flashlight is 75. If it's less than 800, flashlight is 100 and then else uh, the flashlight is full on. So this is kind of um, my pseudocode as well is looking at this right here so I'm going to copy that and just kind of paste that in here as pseudocode. And this would just be a series of ifs. If that. Else if that. Else if that. So I'm just going to copy and paste this. So that's kind of how my program will be set up. So just a bunch of else if conditions. And then I just change my flashlight value uh, each time. So a lot of copying and pasting here. Uh, so this is my old program. I'm going to just kind of delete it for right now, except for this first if. And we want to say if the sensor value of my light sensor, and I think we wanted to do less than 400. So we don't really need these ands anymore, uh, especially with analog stuff, because if you keep them in the proper order, if it's not less than 400, uh, then it goes to the next, and then we're asking if it's less than 500. So we already know that it's greater than 400 and less than 500. So um, it kind of does it for us if we keep them in order. There is a function, if we go under natural language special, for turning the flashlight on and turning the flashlight off. So in this case, we want to have the flashlight off. Our flashlight port is just called flashlight. And then we're just going to do a series of copies and paste, paste here. So now we want to do an else if. Change it to 500. And now we're going to turn our flashlight on. And if we look at turn flashlight on, it's port and brightness. So we're going to do comma 25. Okay, so I'm just going to copy and paste now this. So now I've got less than 600, less than 700, less than 800, and then I'll do one more, and this one is just going to be my else. Okay, now we want to update our uh, flashlight value. So we had 25 here, we're going to go 50, and then 75, and then 100. And then else, that means it's darker than 800, so it's going to be full on at 127. So 
that's basically it. And again, we can logically go through it. Let's say, for example, that our sensor gives us a 200 reading. Well, is the light sensor less than 400? Yes. So the flashlight is off. And it skips everything else, goes back into the top of the while loop, and it keeps turning the flashlight on. Then let's say our sensor goes to 450. Well, it's not less than 400, so it goes to the next, and it checks is 450 less than 500. Yes, so the flashlight turns on at 25. And it keeps going through that process until, you know, if it gets darker and darker, then the flashlight gets brighter and brighter as it moves down through these uh, LSIF commands. And if it's full brightness, if it's at 850, then it's false, false, 850 is not less than 800. So then it goes and it runs the else, which then gives me a full on at 127. So this is DP11.